Now we've already done some problems with the monomial term multiplying times a trinomial. But what if you've got two binomial terms? Well, let's take a look. If you've got x plus 3 and x plus 3, how do you multiply? There's a method called FOIL, which stands for first outer inner last. Meaning first terms multiply, then the outer terms, then the inner terms, and finally the last terms. So here we go. Let's FOIL. X, okay, first terms X and X. Multiply them together, you've got X squared. Outer terms, X times 3. 3x. Inner terms, x and 3. 3x. Last terms, 3 and 3. Now, after that, we simplify x squared plus 6x plus 9. What you've just witnessed is reversed factoring here. What's factoring? Factoring is when you take a trinomial or any other polynomial and put it into um, smaller terms such as a couple binomials, binomial and a monomial, trinomial and, two, and a binomial, and a few other different variations. So, how do you factor? Well, x squared plus 6x plus 9. The key is to find something that adds together to equal 6 here, your coefficient here, and something that multiplies together to equal your constant here, or 9. Well, what multiplies to 9? 1 and 9, and 3 and 3. Which ones add up to 6? 3 and 3. So, we're going to add 3, and we have to include our variable, so x and x. If you need to double check, go ahead and take your factors and FOIL them out and see if you get your original problem. If you don't, you've done something wrong and you need to go check it again. Now, you're going to need to know how to do this because many of the ideas later on in college algebra are going to use factoring, completing the square, and using quadratic equations, all of which I'll cover later on. Now, you're also going to need to know how to use um, the difference of two squares, which involves the conjugate factors. For example, x plus 3 and x minus 3 are conjugates of each other. That means they are the opposites of each other. If we multiply these out together, you get x squared plus 3x minus 3x and minus 9. These cancel out each other so you get x squared minus 9, a difference of two squares, binomial. Again, if you need to factor it out, luckily this is easier than factoring out a trinomial, because you automatically know your variable, and you know the signs that you're going to use. It's all a matter of what this multiplies together to equal 3 in this case. 
Very simple. As noted earlier, you're going to need to know many different tricks uh, when factoring out uh, your polynomials. Another common way besides the difference of two squares is factoring out the common monomial. For example, x squared, y squared, z squared plus x, y, z has a common factor. Amongst the whole problem, you can take out x, y, z. Why? Because x, y, z times x, y, z is x, y, z squared. And x, y, z times positive 1 is x, y, z. That's all you have to know for factoring out a common uh, monomial. If you can factor out a single term from all of the problem, then you can try factoring out the monomial and get your result. You can also try factoring by grouping. For example, ax plus bx plus a plus b. This can be factored by grouping by taking out the x here and then taking an a, b out of this whole problem. Notice that this is a, b, a plus b times 1. So what we've actually got here is a plus b times x plus 1, x plus 1, and a plus b, and a plus b. a plus b is a common factor, and x plus 1 is a common factor. Alright, that'll be all for this video this time. Um, Thank you for very, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope I helped you a lot. If not, um, hopefully my next video next week will be much better. Next week we'll be covering things such as radical equations, complex numbers, and other inequality problems. So thank you guys and take care.